What is happening guys, Cowboy here, and we decided we are going to continue on with getting a clue. So I did end up picking up the Master Locksmith perk, uh, went back to all the different Master Chests I've seen so far. Uh, obviously, we ended up getting the Cryo later out of Vault 111. Um, down in Vault 114, it was basically some junk. Um, and the one that I found at the library was also some junk. The only other place that had one was Cambridge Polymer Labs. And we ended up getting a 2% uh, limb damage book out of that. So, interesting enough, but, you know, nothing that's like, oh my god, this is amazing. So either way, let's continue on with the quest. Are you here? Nick? Oh god, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. I'd smash. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me... the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners, and of course there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. If something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. It's 
Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. I mean, he could be 10 years old. See, and that's one of the things I'm not sure about, you know, because we were in the vault for 200 years, but you don't know, um, you know, you don't know when they, they did the murder and everything. Actually, you know what? I do. I'd have to go back and I'd have to check the logs about the, uh, the heart thing. But I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance, bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick. Clean, thorough. Has no enemies because they're all dead. Except you. I'm gonna have to do that. One odd says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The MO is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later. Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Ah, damn, I'm like right there. Just a little nudge. There it is. That's it. Let's Thank take a look out. around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Taking everything this asshole owned. Even his broom. Place seems small to you? Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. here. Did you check out that desk? It's got to be a hidden switch. I'm telling you something's not right. Look for anything out of sorts. A switch. A button. Gwinnett Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Bunch of purified water, you could have taken that from the vault. Silent routine isn't getting us anywhere. I'll have dog meat. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. 
I want you with me on this, Nick. Piper, you're going to Sanctuary Hills. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Hey, y you mind keeping an eye out for a second? We gotta run a diagnostic. Whew. Thanks. What did I miss? All right, so we're gonna go fast travel. Gonna grab our pup. I thought a reporter could consider themselves a success. Oh, hey, baby, die. you came. Dog me. I'm very successful. Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy? <laughs> yeah. All right, dog me. You lead the way, buddy. Yo, dog meat is baller. He just booked it straight out of town. He knows where we're going. I wonder if that's Sean. A part of me wants to go back to the vault. Cause like I said, there was that one entry about uh, the heart palpitations from the wife. Which was more than likely when they were taking Sean from her and then they shot her. So if I looked at the date on that, I could figure out how old Sean would be right now. Also, we got a uh, badass scope on this baby now. must have stopped here. Search around. See if we can pick up the trail. Lost the scent, boy? San Francisco sunlights. I'm telling you, that Kellogg's nose is second right? to none. Okay, boy. Let's track him. Come on, dog meat. Oh shit, I don't have enough because I've been sprinting. A turret set up here. Looks like another one of Kellogg's pit Bloody stops. bandages. Keep Dog me can track this. I'm telling you, that nose is second to none. Hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? I ran into some trouble. 
One of these guns I need to uh, change up so it's more just pure hip fire accuracy. Doesn't really make sense to have uh, two pistols that are good at sniping. But I should really get all the rifle perks before I do that, I think. Shady looking house. Oh, it's a it's a granary type thing. Grain distillery, I think. All right, dog needs found something. You know the drill. Gwyneth Stout, one of his creature comforts. Dog meat pick up the scent again? Okay, boy, let's track him. Yep. I don't know what this place is, but it looks like somewhere that I... Don't really want to go. <laughs> oh, no, it's just an overhang. Okay. But the fog and all that looked like a big-ass gate. Critical signs. Alert. Assault trance? Have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. Just tell me where Kellogg went, Tin Can. Identity of assailant. Kellogg. I'm having a very important discussion right now, Super Mutant. Rage! Rage! Asshole. Stogies. I doubt those orders are uh, related to this, but are probably just like the kill, hunt, 
Yeah, kill loot return. Guy, go. I'll need your nose to track Kellogg, boy. Coming up on a hospital. <laughs> what do you think, boy? Was this our man? Facility? Is this where you brought the kid? Wait, where am I? Oh wow, I'm going way out there. Bunch of stuff here though. I'll have to come back sometime and explore. That's where he's at. Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. Come on, boy. It's time to go. Nice. All right, guys. Well, I'd say that's going to wrap this one up. Uh, obviously, in the next episode, we are going to make our way into this fort. After tracking in that guy down, I feel the need to just continue on with this. So make sure to stay tuned, and we will catch you guys in a little bit as we hopefully find the assailant.